Now let's see how this conduction equation works in practice. Let's consider that you come home late at night on a cold Canberra winter's night. Your house is cold because you've not been home all day. Let's say the temperature both inside and outside the house is um, zero degrees. And the, all the walls of the house all the way through are also at zero degrees. But now when you get home, you turn the heating on. The heating will heat up the air inside your house, and because air has a quite low density, it doesn't take that many kilojoules to heat up the air. So rather rapidly, you'll end up with a temperature inside of, say, 20 degrees, whatever you set your thermostat to, but the wall and the outside are still zero degrees. So if you plot a graph, temperature, against position, and we're zooming in on the wall. So let's say the wall goes from here to here, and the temperature at the inside is 20, but then the wall and the outside are all at zero. So let's say that's zero and that's 20 centigrade. So that's how you start off. The thermostat is going to keep the temperature inside at 20, and because the outside, let's say it's a windy night, the, the outside will stay at zero. Now right now, there is a very big temperature gradient. You go from 20 to zero over no distance at all. Because there's such a big te temperature gradient, lots of heat will flow. This heat will start warming up the inner bit of the wall. So the temperature will rather rapidly go something like that. And something like this. Now, there's a steep gradient here and a gentle gradient over there. Out here there's no gradient at all, so no heat is flowing. But here there's quite a steep gradient, so more heat will flow through here. As the gradient gets less, a smaller amount of heat flows, and out here no heat is flowing. So that means heat is going to start, temperature is going to start building up here. And as time goes on, you will get more and more heat flowing in. The gradient will start evening out. The gradient is still steeper here, so more heat is going here than is going over there, which means it must be piling up in the middle, which means it's going to be raising the temperature here. Till eventually it ends up perfectly straight. In that case, the amount of heat flowing is the same all the way through, and we're in steady state equilibrium. This is the end state you normally come to with any situation like this. Here's a simulation of the whole process. What you can see is the inside at 20, the outside at 0, and how the temperature is varying, and the arrows show the actual heat flow. So to begin with, there's a very big gradient on the inside edge of the wall, and very large arrows there. As time goes on, the temperature becomes more uniform across the whole place, and the arrows become the same size all the way through. And this is now the steady state.